Take a look at this recent polling that was done by one of our country's top polling companies, Angus Reid. How interested people are about the coronation uh, and not good. 41% say, I don't care at all, zero interest. 29% said they'll probably read a little bit about it, but there's not that much interest. Only 20% said they would watch some of it. And 9% single digits saying they were really looking forward to it. Of course, any time there is a coronation and the sparking new debate about the monarchy, the coronation once every 70 years in this case, but conversations happen often about the royal family, its role in Canada, and whether it makes sense to have a foreign-born king serving as our head of state. Pierre Vincent is the Associate Director of Citizens for a Canadian Republic. The group says it's time for Canada to move on. He's in Calgary today. Pierre, thanks for coming on CTV. Good to see you. Thanks for having me on. We were showing that poll. Are you surprised that there doesn't seem to be a lot of interest by some Canadians in all of the pomp and ceremony and pageantry involving this coronation? No, not surprised at all. Um, our organization is always happy whenever there's a royal event because it forces Canadians to reflect on exactly what it means and represents. So tell me, and it, you, yeah, you've been watching all of the you know, lead up to the coronation coming tomorrow. And, you know, what's going through your mind and you know, your group's mind as you watch a lot of the focus on the monarchy? Well, we know the origin of what a coronation is. I mean, face it, it's, 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 it's a spectacle, right? It's a propaganda spectacle to remind the peasants that God has anointed one family to lord over them. That's that's you can't can't hardly argue against that. But what I find interesting is that um, this lack of interest in the coronation reflects all of the polls that have been coming since for decades now. The numbers just keep plummeting in in Canada. I don't I don't see the math is not in the favor of monarchy in Canada at all. I know it's, it's just a matter of time. Politicians are going to have to address this issue. Yeah. And, and as you know, you know, the work that your group does, a lack of interest doesn't necessarily, Pierre, translate immediately into, well, let's get rid of them altogether. I mean, there is that that period, a transition period uh, in your mind in which it may take a number of years before Canadians really feel it's it's time for a change. Well, Canadians are already there. Uh, 60 percent of Canadians, it's. In, the, in some of the pollings are saying it's time to move on. And among them, 80% would be happy to open the Constitution if it has, if it has to be opened. So it, it's, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It, politicians are going to have to face it. They can't keep kicking this can down the road. And I wonder as well about, you know, all of the, uh, well, there's certain amounts of uh, Canadian taxpayers' money that goes to help uh, fund, you know, royal visits and whatnot. Um, and, and the way that Canada is sort of uh, portrayed or seen when it comes to the royal family. Your thoughts on that? Uh, I know some anti-monarchists or pro-Republicans, as they're called, you know, find it to be a little bit insulting the way, uh, you know, Canada is, is treated or the way that we, you know, don't have our own head of state from our country. Can you talk to me a little bit about that argument? Um, as to the cost of the monarchy, yes, there are costs associated. For example, um, it's been calculated when the queen would visit, it would cost taxpayers a million bucks a day. Like a lot of that cost is just in security, but that's really expensive. Have any time minor royals would visit, taxpayers on the hook for, I don't know, a quarter million a day. So there are costs. And, it, you know, it's, it's not the royals' fault. I mean, it's, it's our government that invites them. They only come when we invite them and we pay for their way. But, uh, you know, we, we pay for things that we believe are relevant. So, so the cost is not the biggest argument for us. You put forward some really strong arguments, though, um, on the issues of, um, of our stature in the world. And it's true. Like, uh, other countries will look at us and shake their heads. Why don't they have their own head of state? I mean, even some of the royals have been uh, have been heard commenting on that issue. You know, what's I, I think when when with Prince Philip a couple of times in New Zealand and Australia saying yes, it would be a good idea for you guys to become a republic. Don't and when Australia voted against um, their referendum a few years back, I think he even stated, "Don't they know what's good for them?" Hmm. So I gather, Pierre, so you're, you're, you're not of the institution. Yeah. I gather you're not going to be watching the coronation tomorrow. 
Uh, well, I don't get into celebrity stuff in general, so I'm not attracted to that kind of thing. I'll read about it in the papers, but no, I'm not. I'm not going to be participating beyond that. <laughs> Pierre Vincent. Hey, listen, thanks for taking a bit of time today to get the other side. Very important, of course, to reflect public opinion in our country. Thanks for this, Pierre.